Welcome to lesson number two, Backfill in GAM, where we will learn what is backfill inventory, how to start monetizing, and three options for you to implement in your GAM. Let's start. What exactly is it? It is the inventory that has not been pre-sold or reserved. It is often monetized with ads sold by ad networks via non-guaranteed campaigns or in an auction. How to start monetizing the backfill inventory? Well, you can start doing it with ad networks and exchanges. First, you need to get in touch with premium ad networks or exchanges that can display quality ads on your inventory. Second of all, set them up in a waterfall where they compete with each other to win the impressions. Here's an example of how backfilling with different ad networks work. Let's say we are working with Awesome Ad Network. We negotiated a guarantee deal with them with a $5 CPM. Likewise, we are also working with Great Ads Network, which we have a preferred deal running where they promise a 65% fill rate. And also we are running with Next Ads Network using price priority line with $3 CPM. In this example, the first ad network has the first priority because you can set it up on the line item. The other ad network has the second priority and the third has the third priority. Therefore, every time the networks are competing for your inventory and it has not been sold throughout your other demands, they're gonna get filled by these line items. Now, let's check the implementation in GAM360. We're going to begin the implementation by creating a new order on delivery section. You're going to choose the name of your preference and then we're going to select the advertiser. We're going to choose the network that we have created. I'm going to choose this one for the example and then add the line item. Here you can choose the ad type, whether it's display or video. I'm going to choose display for the example and again you're going to name your line item. Afterwards you're going to choose the type of line item. Always price priority. Then you're going to choose the size. We're going to do with 320 by 50 and then start time set it to immediately and time unlimited. Then you can set up a goal type if you want to do like a daily limit or lifetime limit for the amount of impressions that you want to sell to the ad network but if you don't have any you can just choose none then you can add the rate cpm that you have negotiated with the network and go to the targeting settings here you can choose the ad targeting whether it's if it's inventory geography specific browsers etc Click save. Finally, we're gonna add our creatives. Go to creative, click on add creative, new creative, and then you're gonna choose third party. Add the name of your preference. And normally you're gonna use a passback tag that the ad network is gonna share with you. You can add that tag and click on save. And that's it. You've created your line item to start selling your remnant inventory with the ad network. If you are not able to find any ad networks that can start working with you to backfill your inventory, do not worry, we have two more options to present to you. The first one is set up AdSense. You can set up AdSense to start backfilling your revenue on the network level for all ad units or by line items. We're going to see next how to implement this in GAM360. Now we're going to see how to use AdSense on the line item level. First, you need to go to orders and create a new order. You can name it. For this example, we're going to use ad pushup as an advertiser and create that line item. You can choose display, choose the name of your preference, then we're going to choose AdSense for the type of line item. You can then assign the ad sizes that you use the most. 
we're going to do 300 by 250 and 300 by 600 for this example. Remember to select on web property your AdSense account and then add the targeting of your preference. Afterwards, we're going to create the creatives. We're going to add the creatives. You're going to click on add creative, new creative and select the size. You can add the name of your preference and then click on select by add unit name. You're going to select the unit that you want to use and then save and preview. Then you're going to do the same steps for your other size. You can do this with as many sizes as you choose. Just remember to select the correct add unit and then click on save. Finally, you need to approve the line item. This is how easy it is to add AdSense on the line item level. Enabling AdSense on the network level is extremely easy. It only takes one step. First, go to inventory and then to the network settings tab and click on maximize revenue of unsold inventory with AdSense. That's how easy you can start backfilling your inventory with AdSense. Your third option is to use backup ads. You can set up backup ads to display an image or HTML page if Google isn't able to show targeted ads. This way, you can make sure that your advertising space is always being used effectively. In order to implement this, you can go to inventory, inventory rules and create a new display style. There you can select the backup ad that you want to show instead of a blank space. This way you will fill up your revenue. We've seen several options to start monetizing your inventory. But we wanted to do a quick summary before we jump to the next lesson. First, remember that backfill inventory is that inventory that has not been sold or reserved. Remember that to start monetizing, you can reach out to different app premium networks and set them up in GAM. The second option is to set up your AdSense account. And finally, you can set up backup ads. Thank you for watching.